Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is Taylor's Differential P State System. So we have already solved problem on time based system and P switch system. Let's study the Taylor's Differential P State System. This scheme was introduced by F. W. Taylor, the founder of scientific management. Okay, who is the founder of scientific management? F. W. Taylor. Under this plan, two P states are set off for each job. That is low P state and high P state. Let's understand the meaning of low P state and high P state. The low P state is applicable to workers whose output is below the standard. If the output of the workers is below the standard, they are called less efficient workers. So whatever the target or the standard set by the company to the workers, if the workers perform below the standard or below the target, then such types of workers are called less efficient workers. And to them, we have to apply low piece rate. Next is high piece rate system. This high piece rate system is applicable to workers whose output is at or above the standard. If the output of the workers is at or above the standard, they are called more efficient workers. So whatever the standard set by the company or the organization, if the workers work up to that standard or above the standard, such type of workers are called efficient workers. And to such workers, According to Taylor's differential P state system, high P state system is applied. So the workers who perform below or less than the standard, they are called inefficient or less efficient workers. And to them, low P state is applicable. And the workers whose performance or whose output is at or above the standard, they are called efficient workers and to them we have to apply high p state so under this taylor differential p state system to find out the earnings of the workers the formula is earnings is equal to units produced into differential p state so whatever the units or the output produced by them that we have to take and according to their performance if they have performed well that is according to the standard then high piece we have to high piece rate we have to apply here and if their output or if their performance is below the standard or below the target to them we have to apply low piece rate got this let's solve the problem on taylor's differential piece rate system problem number one Calculate the earnings under Taylor's differential P state from the given information. Rate per hour, rupees 6. Standard time per unit, 30 minutes. Differential P state to be applied, 75% of P state below the standard, 125% of P state at or above the standard. In 8 hours of a day, the actual output of the workers are A. 15 units, B. 25 units. So, in this problem, what information they have given? Rate per hour. So, per hour, the rate is rupees 6. 1 hour again, rate is rupees 6. Standard time per unit. So, one unit and a per unit and a ready model like a total yes to minutes pick up today 30 minutes. So, the standard the time set for one unit or per unit is 30 minutes. And differential piece rate applied here the workers who perform below the standard to them 75% piece rate is applied and the workers whose performance or whose output is at or above the standard, to them we have to apply 125% of piece rate. 
So total hours worked by the worker is eight hours. Okay, in a day, eight hours they have worked, and in this eight hours, Mr. A has produced fifteen units. Mr. B has produced twenty-five units. So we have to see which differential P state is applied to Mr. A and Mr. B. Mr. A has produced fifty. And Mr. B has produced 25 units. So before that, we have to find out the standard output one per unit to make one unit. 30 minutes is required. So during this eight hours, how many units can be produced? So first we have to calculate standard output in eight hours. And according to that standard, we have to see A has performed. Above the standard or below the standard, and B has performed below the standard or above the standard. Let's find out the earnings of Mr. A and Mr. B under Taylor's differential P state system. Solution: Calculation of earnings under Taylor's differential P state system. Write the formula. That is. Earnings is equal to units produced into differential piece rate. First is Mr. A. So Mr. A has produced how many units? Clearly given in the problem, that is Mr. A fifty units. So right here fifty units. Differential piece rate. This one we have to find out. Next is Mr. B. Mr. B has produced 25 units. So right here, 25 units into this. Since we have to differential P state, we have to find out. Got? So certain notes we have to prepare to get all these things. That is differential P state, standard output, production in eight hours, etc. So first we'll calculate. There is note number one: ascertainment of standard. Production, standard production. We have to find out first. So the formula is standard production per hour is equal to number of minutes per hour divided by standard time per unit. Now this standard production per hour is equal to number of minutes per hour divided by standard time per unit. So one hour only. Yes, two units are now ready. Made by the one. That is, I first calculate made by. In one hour, how many units can be produced? So, in problem, they have given standard time per unit, thirty minutes. So, in thirty minutes, one unit can be produced. So, in one hour, two units. Clear? Thirty minutes only. One unit are ready. Made by the. So, one hour only. That is. Two hours are thirty minutes plus thirty minutes, sixty minutes are there. Sixty minutes under one hour. So in one hour, how many units can be produced? Two units. Okay. And then I am going to formula how to explain my dear. That is number of minutes per hour is thirty minutes, sixty minutes. In one hour, sixty minutes. That is standard time per unit given in the problem. Standard time per unit is thirty minutes. So 60 divided by 30, you will get 2. That is 2 units. That is in one hour. In one hour, you can produce 2 units. So one task only, 2 units are now ready. Marble. So production in eight hours is to get the one task only. One task in only, you have two units are now ready. Marble then there. In total eight hours, okay. In eight hours of a day, so these workers are working for how many hours? Eight hours. So in eight hours, how many units can they can produce per per hour? Two units into eight hours. Eight hours are sixteen sixteen units. So in eight hours, total how many units can be produced? Sixty units. So the standard set by the company is. In eight hours, sixteen units. Got this is the standard standard output. 
So in a day of 8 hours, total how many units can be produced? 60 units. So A has produced how many units? 15 units. Means below the standard he has produced. So the total, the standard output is 68 units. And A has produced in a day of 8 hours, 15 units only. And B has produced 25 units more than the standard. The standard is 16 units in a day of 8 hours. But, but, but this person B has produced 25 units. That is more than the standard. Above the standard. Let's find out the P state per unit. Okay, standard output and now calculate my day to. Next we have to find out P state per unit. So the formula is rate per R divided by number of units per R. Rate per R is first see in the problem. Rate per hour is rupees 6. So for 1 R the rate is rupees 6. And this 1 R how many units can be produced? 2 already we have discussed here. We have so that is 2 units. So 6 divided by 2 you will get rupees 3 per unit. So the P's rate per unit is rupees 3. And the 1 unit is the balance to rupees 3. Now calculate the differential P's rate. Calculation of differential P's rate. Low P's rate and high P's rate. Low P's rate is 75%. So how much you have to take? 75% of P state below the standard. So those who have performed below the standard, we have to apply 75% of P state. P state, just we have calculated, that is rupees, that is rupees 3 per unit. 3 per unit is the P state. And those who have performed above the standard, to them we have to apply 125% of P state. So right here, low P state is equal to 75% of P rate per unit. 75% of P rate per unit is equal to P rate is 3, 3 into 75%. This low P rate. So, is 3 into 75%. And 75 divided by 100. So, you will get 2.25. So, those who have performed below the standard, to them you have to apply this rate. This 2.25, low piece rate. Next is high piece rate. High piece rate is 125% of piece rate per unit. Piece rate is rupees 3. High piece rate is 125%. Do the calculation 3 into 125 percent. It is 125 divided by 100. We will get 3.75. So those who have performed at or above the standard, to them we have to apply 3.75 differential P state. So clear all these notes. Now come to the main part. That is calculation of earnings. This one. Calculation of earnings under Taylor's differential P state system. A. Number of units produced by A is 15 units. So this A person has produced below the standard or above the standard? Below the standard because the standard output is 16 units. Correct? We have already calculated here. Production in 8. Production in 8 hours. That is 16 units. So this person A has produced below the standard. So below the standard. So the person. So who has performed below the standard. To them we have to apply. 75% of P state. 75% that is low P state is 2.25. And this Mr. B has produced 25 units. That is above the standard. So for Mr. A, 
we have to take low piece rate that is 2.25 per unit. Multiply this 15 into 2.25. You will get 33.75. Mr. B has produced 25 units. So, to him we have to apply high piece rate that is 3.75 per unit. Do the calculation. 25 into 3.75 and the answer is 93.75. So, the earnings of Mr. A is 33.75 and Mr. B earning is Mr. B earnings is 93.75. Like this, we have to find out the earnings of workers under Taylor's differential fees rate system. I hope you got the solution. If you have any doubts, please write in comment. And for more such videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone.